Hey guys, Civic Dude, and we're playing some Minecraft. This is episode 18, I think. And let's see where we left off. If you remember, we were working on our piston elevator. Let's go for a ride. We'll see how that does. Now down here at the bottom, I hooked up a little doorway to an RS Norlatch back there so that when I step on this pressure plate, the door will open, but it won't close. It'll only close when I rest up on this pressure plate right here. So, here we go. You can see that it's working just like we planned on. But you can also see some holes in the walls here. And it's a little dark at some places. Well, we need some glowstone so we can make some redstone lamps which will turn on and turn off as we approach and leave the respective level of the elevator. And also, uh, we're going to put a piston door right here that opens and closes, or opens once we get to the top and closes once we exit and walk over this pressure plate. But we need to go to the nether to get some glowstone. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a trip. So, because we are completely out. Now I have not been back to the nether on camera or off camera in over 10 episodes, I think. So this should be very, <laughs> very exciting. Hopefully we won't die Hopefully we can find us a stronghold because I want some nether brick stairs for uh, oops for the piston elevator. So here we go. If I could just get up there, and I'm eventually going to move the uh, the nether portal inside the base probably down in the dungeon somewhere, down in the lower parts, because it's just really inconvenient to have to come all the way out here to, to go to the nether. So, here we go. Okay. If you remember, here's where I had the epic deaths earlier. And it's a long way down again. Now, I want to go somewhere that I haven't gone yet in the nether, and that's probably over in that direction. Or there, maybe. So let's try and get over there. And how are we going to do this? Oh, it's a long way down. Hmm. Can go over there, I suppose. Oh, it's just so far down there. Well, okay, let's uh, let's try and dig our way down. You can see that I've done some of this before. I had to get some glowstone beforehand and uh, I just need more of that stuff okay so let's get to digging ooh big huge lava pool that's interesting Man, I'm just going to have to jump down, aren't I? I think so. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have... Ooh, there's close to him. It's a good thing that I have a bunch of food. So, here we go. Oh, that hurts. Now, I've got to make a pillar of some kind, because I'm not going to know how to get back.
Okay, this should help me. There we go. Okay. Holy cow, look how tall the nether is. And I'm like at the top of it. Okay, well, let's gather some of this easy to access glowstone. It's my favorite kind. No reason to waste a pick on this because it breaks so easy. So, what have you guys been up to? Everyone been staying up with their YouTube videos? Oh my gosh. So much glowstone. And not enough nether rack to reach it all. Or not. I lied. Possibly? No? Come on. There we go. Oop. Ow. I gotta stop doing that, guys. Okay. Let's find all this glowstone. Okay, so this is kind of a slow part of the video where we do some basic resource gathering slash searching around. And what in the world is that? I know there's soul sand and I know there's nether rack, but what is that stuff? We're gonna have to figure that out in a minute. I saw another big patch of glowstone right here that I wanted to get cuz it's just it's just sitting here waiting for me Hello sir Do you know Do you know where the glowstone is? It's up there. See it? Yeah. You're no help. Okay, so uh let's see. Pardon me if I'm sounding delirious. It's it's rather late at night. Rather late at night, and my wife continues to make fun of me. It's okay, she just doesn't understand. Minecraft is where it's at, guys. It's the coolest. Ooh, I was uh, digging out more of the underground tunnel that I'm working on, and I found a nine block little vein of diamond that I need to show you guys. And I I didn't think about this ahead of time, but I dug out one of the pieces, and I meant to save all nine for whenever I finally get a uh, Fortune 3 uh, pickaxe. So anyways, I dug out one of them, so I only have eight now, but still, that's going to be awesome because I'll be able to get probably 20 uh, diamonds from that, which is unheard of. Okay, so let's see, after we get all this, how we're doing on our glowstone. This is actually going much easier than I thought it would. And okay, nice, almost a little over three stacks. That's pretty good. Definitely want to get, ooh, that stuff over there. Look at that, that's just prime pickings. Okay. Oh, I don't know if this is too, this might be too dark for you guys. If it is, I apologize. How rude. How rude of me. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, you see this little squared off area? There used to be glowstone there and I grabbed it. I took it. A while ago. And that little tower right there, that was me. You can see one of my torches in there. Yeah, so I know where we're at.
Okay. Oh, nope. Don't want to go down there. Zombie, don't you dare push me off the edge here. Oop. Oh well. Okay. Let's dig up, 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 and up, and up, and up. Is that as far? Okay. Well, I'm very excited about this, guys. I uh, want to eventually set up another base in here. Blaze farms, gas fighting materials, all that good stuff. You guys know about it. You see all the pros do it. The Minecraft pros. I'm going to do it too. Like a boss. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to just sit here and watch. And I'm going to cut back in when I find something interesting. And it just seems like this nether goes on forever and ever with no fortress whatsoever. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh! Oh, awesome. There we go. Fortress and blaze. Look at that. I wonder if I can kill him from here. Ooh, I got a shot off. Come on, show your face. Boom. Okay. Well, this is awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to pillar up a little bit. Mark this spot because I can't really do anything here because my freaking pick is broken. And uh, me, I brought sticks, but I brought nothing to craft them with. Nor did I bring anything to make out of a mallet head, like rocks or iron. So, I'm just going to have to try and find my way back here. But this is good. I got a heaping dose of glowstone. So we're going to be set for that for a long time. That's good news, guys. And this nether base is actually not too far from my portal. I'm going to have to find a pretty straight route and make a minecart rail to it just because I don't want to have to run the whole time that's kind of annoying but let's see if I can find my way back while filming I think I can do it I think I can I think I can Okay, well, um, I found a magma cube. He dropped a magma cream for me. That was pretty sweet. Can't remember what you're supposed to do with those yet, but I'll figure it out. Okay, let's see. I know I'm getting close. Sorry, you cannot come. Let me shove you off the edge. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back. Okay, guys. We're we got a huge haul from the nether there. Check it out. We have nine. Or, sorry. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a half stacks of glowstone. That is ridiculous. Okay, so let's turn most of this into redstone lamps. And then after that we can wire up those redstone lamps into our uh, 
piston tower. Oh, that's not enough. I need 40. Well, actually, 42. I think 42 would be good. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just for safekeeping. For good measure. Okay, so... There we go. Okay, so I saw today a review on... Oh my gosh, are you kidding? A review on uh, YouTube about the uh, three, Xbox 360 version of Minecraft. And I wanted to get you guys' uh, reaction to that. Um, I know that there's a lot of limitations that uh, are placed on uh, the the game be just because of the way that Xbox works versus the PC. Um, I also know that uh, world generation and the game in general is only up to, I think, Minecraft 1. Beta 1.7.3 is what I've been made aware of, or been led to believe. And uh, obviously you can't have custom texture packs. Uh, you can't really host your own server. I want to say the the limit for uh, multiplayer size is I want to say eight per uh, per world. But uh, I don't know. It seems like the controls work pretty smoothly. Nothing, uh, nothing to complain about there. It's gotten uh, pretty good reviews. Um, anyways, tell me what you guys think about it. I know it goes on sale. Uh, I think tomorrow. Well, for me it's tomorrow. For you guys, it's probably already on sale. Um, but anyways, just let me know what you think, cause I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. Okay, so I need to get in here and essentially break. Why do I hear a zombie everywhere I go? I'm going to turn the volume down. I hear zombies, like, constantly right now. Oh, there's why. There's a zombie down there. Do you see that? Hello. I can't hit you. Creep. Oh, I knew this would happen one day. There we go. Okay, and you guys probably can't see, so let's light it up a little bit. Okay, now. Meow. What we have... Oh, jeez. What we have to do is get on the outside of this thing. So we can see what we're working with here. Okay, get down, get down, get down. Okay, let me think how this works. First stone... Oh, gosh. Quit this. Quit this right now. I needed it like a disable button or something. Okay, so the first one's powered right there. I don't have to run any redstone wire for that. But everything after that needs redstone wire. So the next one goes here, 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 all the way up. Just like this. Oh, crap. It's okay. Okay, so let's make our way up. And torch, because you guys can't see. And we'll just continue on until we get to the top here. Oh, torch. Give me that torch. And let's see, we're almost there. 
I was going to cut away, but we're almost to the top, so I'll just keep you guys here. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Count it. Okay. And let's see. I think I did this. Oh, how did I do this? It's either these two or these two. Oh, wait, I gotta go check. I gotta check. I just have to know. Okay. It was... When you're top of it... Okay. Those two. So, right up here. Okay. Now, for the wiring. Let's go back down to the bottom. And why am I going the long way? I can just take the water drop. And we'll get started wiring this thing up, guys. So I'm going to show you the first uh, first couple layers here. And then... Uh, no, stop it. And then uh, after that, I'm just going to cut away and finish. Because this takes a while. Okay, so let me go down. Oh, crap. No. Okay. So starting at the bottom, what we do is we first get out of here. Okay. This is probably going to take a while because I have to dig all this behind here out. Okay. So here's the first one. Now the way that this works is... Uh, there's the R snore latch down there. Okay, so the way this works is... Let me think. Think, think, think. No, not that one. Oh, shoot, where is it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe up here? Ah. No. Hold up, guys. Let me think. And we'll study up. Okay, guys. So what I did was normally I would bring the uh, the line, the redstone line from right here, down from the repeater, or actually the block that the repeater goes into, down and around into this block right here. But I can't do that on this first layer because of my hidden doorway. So you see below here, that's a redstone torch powering this block. So uh, it's going to throw things off. So what I did just for this layer, the first layer, was I just brought up the line from below, the one that uh, fires the entire piston elevator, and I just ran it up beside this block right here, this redstone lamp, sorry. So it, that's going to be the only unique one. So all of these others we can do the proper way. And that's the pattern that I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So let me see if I can get above the situation here. Okay, so repeater goes into a block. We basically... bring the line down and into the block next to or on top of the block next to the redstone lamp. And we need to do this for every redstone lamp that we have. Okay, so what we have to do is place a block above this one so that it cuts the, the line right there. That way the redstone wire right there doesn't uh, go down here like it's not supposed to do. So I needed some more redstone, 
And I came across this in my strip mine. Have you guys ever seen so much redstone in one place before? This looks like at least a couple, at least a dozen blocks, I'm guessing. But seriously, look at all the redstone. Okay, let's see how much we get out of it. And I started this, I was completely out of redstone. There we go, 57, almost a full stack. Okay guys, I'll continue searching. And we're back. Okay, so man, that, that, that took a little while. But I got it all wired up. Let's go test it out and I'll show you wh what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Okay. Need to replace my door. Let's see. Black. White. Is that right? Oh, I can't remember. I actually don't think that's right. No, that is right. What am I thinking? Okay. If you take a look, you notice that all the lamps light up. Now, all we have left to do is wire up the two in the back and the piston door. And I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll run you through it after I get done. So, stick around. We're going to do some camera editing and we're going to see what this looks like when it's all done. Stick around. Okay guys, so we've got it all finished now. Here it is closed up. I put a couple paintings on. Uh, these are a couple of the single block paintings that looked pretty cool to me. They look like, uh, I don't know what these are. Iron circle things? I don't know. But uh, anyways, let's write it real quick and I'll show you how it looks once it is done. Okay, so here it is. Closed up, ready to go. Opens up. Takes the elevator. Oh, crap. Didn't work. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. Rides the elevator all the way up. Notice when we get to the top that the door is open. The lights are on. Once we step out, the door is closed. Pretty cool. Okay, let me get in the back of this thing, and I'll show you some of the wiring for this little dude because it's kind of kind of tricky Oop. oh well I can fix that okay so let's replace what we just broke that was dust and repeater. Okay, now power comes right there from the last line uh, from the lamp from the, or sorry, the last piston comes into this RS nor latch right here right there and sends power to the two redstone lamps at the top and also over here through an inverted signal to the two pistons that close and open the door. You can see them right there. Now there is a pressure plate that closes them and basically redstone wire runs from underneath that all the way up with a repeater and let's see 
goes into the other side, or the other end of the RS NOR latch. And that will basically reset it and turn the lights off, close the door, just like we want. So this was not too hard to do. I mean, it just took a little work in the practice world to make sure everything fit right and looked good. So, anyways, it wasn't too hard to do, guys. It just took some time. But let's close it back up and try and wrap up this episode because we oh crap we are nearing an end of this episode it's exciting it's been going on for a while had to record it in a couple sittings just here and there but uh, I really want to thank you guys for watching this has been a good episode got something done this has really gonna, been a big help in my up and down transportation makes going from when it works sometimes it doesn't work and when it doesn't work just basically do this until it works okay it's really tricky sometimes you gotta get you gotta get just in the right spot. There we go. Okay, so I know I'm not a very good salesman. I didn't do a very good job pitching it there, but you know what? It's okay. It works for me. And I think it looks pretty cool. So let's finish off this episode with killing some slimes. Because I hear them. Hear him bouncing around. And I again want to thank you guys for watching. Ooh, this is going to be fun. It's been an entertaining episode for me. Fun to record. I want to thank all you guys for hanging in there through the <laughs> failings of this piston elevator. Boom! The two-part episode thing. I don't normally do that, but uh, this was one of the bigger projects, and so just needed a couple, couple videos to get it done. So, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about the piston elevator, and uh, I will see you guys next time.